But we got a couple producers that sent some beats in to be critique. How many? Uh, eight of them. Eight of them. So we just gonna play them real quick on this laptop and just give you a critique. And this way we could knock out kind of those nerd producer questions that people want to know, like, you know, just little stuff like mixes or is this too loud or just little stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and play those on the laptop real quick. Keep it real, man. This ain't no, uh, we're not worrying about people's feelings. Like, keep I'm it real. I'm not either, shit. I'm not worried about nobody's feelings either. No, nah, like, what? So, give them some advice if you feel it or if you feel it. Me personally, I wouldn't get on that beat. I mean, but that's just me talking on an artist level, though. But I can hear somebody getting on that shit. Maybe somebody from Detroit, but that shit got, to me, it's got a little too much going on. Like, the little drum pattern going. Too, a lot of, uh, yeah. It just came in with the goddamn steroids. It was a little too much. I think snare rolls is like, damn, they're getting played out now. That's just me speaking, but next beat though. Fuck what you say, fuck what you thought, might hit the bank, hit the more up. Fuck what you say, fuck what you thought, might hit the bank, hit the more up. Fuck what you say, fuck what you thought, might hit the bank, hit the more up. Fuck what you say, fuck what you thought, might hit the bank, hit the more up. Mama say, mama side, mama cruise up. Make it shit like your mama taught you thought. When you play, they gon' hate, I'm not too shy. Never fell on my face, but I got blue lights. Mr. Mary, the money, and I caught new rocks. Mama pray, I got faith, I got two guys. Corners lay on my chest, they got two plot. I'ma say, I'ma side the fuck you thought. Made a wave, doing rocks, I got two pop. None of the fans OD in the drop, two drop. They make it hoes pass out like they got flu shot. I got bands, bitch, you do not. Fuck what you say, fuck what you thought. Might hit the bank, hit the moon walk. Fuck what you say. Okay, Damn, that was going hard too. Yeah, did he make it? Did he make the beat? Did he make the beat? Or like, was was he the artist on there? That's a, well, if if you did both, that I can't lie, that was, that was hard. That sounded very, very number one ish, my boy. Like on some like, all right, that number one is like hit, hit is though. It, it sounded it sounded very current. I fuck with that one for sure. That was a good song. If you made the beat too, dope. Salute right. to you. Nate, dude, Buddha. Sound like some Eminem or rapper on. What, what would you want different? The snares for sure. I'll for surely change the snares. Um, the hi hats too, like it's the sound of the hi hat. I mean, I'm not a big Eminem fan, but that sounds like an Eminem beat though, for sure. Uh, really, the sound selection, like all real, just by hearing the sound, we already, we already knew like what the drop was gonna sound like. You feel me? Just by hearing the sounds for sure. Yeah, I wasn't excited in the first couple minutes, but. There's a little more time on the melody. What I mean by sound selection is, bro, it's not just about... There's a lot of tools out here now, bro. It's not just about the VST, bro. You got Splice. You got Cymatics PG. And if you, even if you take those away, you got other third-party stuff. Where you got accent kits. You got phrases. It's a whole bunch of shit now. You even got FL22. Uh, what, what FL we on? 21, 22? STEM shit. 72. It's, it's so much shit going on. Like It's so many sounds out there. Um, me personally, I'm gonna buy drum kits from guys who got five, who make five drums. Like I know that drums are five. I'm not gonna buy drum kits from a nigga who just got a drum kit and I never heard their drums before. You feel me? I'm not gonna buy uh, uh sounds to make samples from niggas who don't even make samples. Your best sample packs or 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 like one shot kits or phrases or midis are from people who make five samples. If they make five samples, their kits are five. They're making those kits. They're probably they're most likely making those. Uh, the kits that they made is already shit they already don't put out. They just put in a photo. So, if you're looking for like sound kit shopping, that's my advice as far as that though.
Yeah, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. I ain't really got too much to that. I like the sample. I like the drums. I like how simple it is. I'll rap on that motherfucker for sure. Man, that shit's hard. I feel like I knew as soon as I heard the sample. I was like, oh, okay. It's probably gonna be pretty good. I got you, G-Nasty. I'm gonna send it to Sunny Katie, bro. Yeah, please. It's a deep, breezy beat. These beats is like, I think um, they not bad, bro. They they I, look that, that first that first and foremost, they not bad, bro. None of these beats is bad. Let, let me just put it right there. Like to get to the to the point where they at, they they they're very very decent. This beat is decent too. Like I just feel like if probably like a year's working and like ele elevating your sounds and just picking like different sounds, that beat would probably be fine, but. It just sound like he if, if it was ten levels to make him beat to sound like he had like level three or four. You know what I'm saying? Level three or four? Nah, I think it's about six level seven. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't like know, man. It's only four, ten levels, bro. you know. Yeah, it's ten levels, so every come on. Every level got to be crucial. I mean, that one had good I mean, ideas. I, mean, I think level three. I'm thinking how to key it weights. <laughs> that's not even in the level. Yeah, that's not. Hey, even. You might be right though. I might need to push him up though, cause. Like, come on, give him a five. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'll push him up a five. I, 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 I give him. I, I'm keep him at five. That's it. Maybe 4.9. I feel like that one has some cool ideas, but I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. Like, I was hearing some ideas, but it, there wasn't necessarily like, oh, I fucking love this. I like this. the drop. That drop was yeah. pretty impressive. It was pretty cool. I was like, okay. And yeah. So, two things I'll say real quick. For newer producers, there's kids out here. It's, uh, hey, you got me with the way to be. So there's kids out here that uh, they start like nine months ago, and they already fight. And that's really because they're using all the tools that's out there. That's the advice I'm gonna give to you. Like it's like I said, there's hella tools out there now where you can get fired at a very, very fast rate. Where it took before like 2015, it took niggas like six years just to get caught or fired because we had all those tools. So use your tools. And then second is man, tags. Me personally, I started using tag. And the only reason I started using my tag, cause me personally, I thought when I remember when I was in high school, 2015, me and YB in high school and shit, 2015, 2016, I heard Sunny Tag, Metro Tag. And those were like real legendary, like it really complimented the song, complimented the beat, you feel me? And now it's like, oh turn this shit up, gang, or yeah, da, da, da. you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Me personally, like I feel like if your tag is just something to have because everybody else have it, maybe not use it. Maybe wait until you actually have that sound or wait until that tag actually sounds good. Now I'm I ain't gonna lie, T V T V dropping some jewels on y'all, man. That beat sound that beat sound like somebody that just got some new sounds. A level three producer that just got some new sounds. <laughs> I can't agree with that. A, a level three producer that just got Nexus. How about that? The the original Nexus. That's what that sound like, bro. Also arrangement. You know, you kinda had something going later, but it just took forever with a bunch of weirdness out to simplify yeah. and kinda bring it in sooner or something. Sounds are just too much. Sounds are just way too much. Too many synths. Like, I know one thing that helped me a lot. And I want, well, I pay these niggas like, hey, bro, I got, and I tell them exactly how much I had at the time. Like, bro, I got 300. You might hop in on Zoom or something or showing. I still do this. If it's a five sample maker, and, bro, I be completely honest. Most of the time, that nigga be like 14, 15, the five <laughs> sample maker. I be like, hey, bro, you hard. Can I just pay you 300 on Zoom? And you just cook up something and I watch you and I can screen record it. I'm trying to learn every day type shit. I don't ever be afraid to hit a, a guy that's hard and just act on like, even if they don't have that service, they might not have that service because they ain't just think about it, but they won't deny the money. You feel me? So just ask, you feel me? A hundred thousand percent thing. That's right. I do though everything. Yeah. Everything I do, I try to find somebody best. So it's hard though. Everything. 
I play damn. Nah, I play hell, damn nah, hell, nah, hell, nah, 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 nah. I ain't laughing. I, I, I swear, if I play video know, games, I'm into some shit. I'll get it. Yeah, let's put money on Smash Bros. Like, damn it, I gotta let it try. I feel like the sub could have hit a little harder. Everything could have hit a little harder. But it was like, I'm in the studio and I'm like, I just need a beat right now. Just, you know, five. And that came up, I'm like, okay, cool, right quick. It wasn't bad, it wasn't the best though. It was a very safe beat. All right, listen, besides P, I always shot, besides PG, besides Maddox, you can always shop with us, you feel me? Royalty free sounds, high volume sounds. I think that's good enough, but if you're looking for <laughs> sounds, you feel me? Got down Reddit. Uh, Keon, uh, Max Shooter, these are guys who, you know, they got five dollar kits and free kits, and they'll take you along to a long way to just like PG and Hot Magic. So. Mainly PG, yeah, mainly PG. <laughs> for sure. Oh boy. Sound like it was made for NBA Young Boy. Sound like some New Orleans shit. It wasn't bad though, but it's not my cup of tea though. But it was a good, a good beat though. I fuck with it though, like for what it is though. But it sound like some like NBA Young Boy, somebody from that area rap on. Yeah, I give him by like on on the scale of six, seven. He wasn't bad at all. He's higher up on the scale. I believe he can probably make better beats. Not better beats, but he probably got different beats that I probably like. I feel like that lane too. Like I remember when we were doing beat critiques and stuff like. It's hard, like, I mean, we, we appreciate those beats, but sometimes it's like you kind of like, I don't know if I want to say, like, in my mind, I'm thinking, like, it kind of sounds like something I heard before, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, uh, shout out to him for making those, because I know I can't make them, but. I mean, it's a sound. It's I guess, it, I mean, that it's a sound. That's why you, I feel like you feel like you heard it, though. It's like a sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, a unique sound. sound to a specific place, to some specific people, though. You know what I'm saying? So. Cool. 